Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here with a couple of quick uh, project shares. Um, just a couple of things that I've been working on. Um, first I'll show you this little, um, it's a chipboard uh, pocket watch and I had gotten a package of these from Joann's and I thought it would be fun to alter one of them. Um, what I did was I stamped on the uh, chipboard itself and then I um, adhered some um, romance novel paper. I don't know if you can see that, but in the background. And then I covered it with a sheer piece of lace over it. And then I just put a couple of um, Tim Holtz um, watch pieces and a bling in the center of that. And then that's a, just a tiny little metal flower with a little tiny doodad flower in it. And I added um, some more rhinestones at 12, 3, um, 9, and then down the bottom here, which would be 6, I took this... Um, earring and I was able to get it into the the um, chipboard so that it would stay on and I just took one little piece of uh, lace trim from my stash with a heart on it so I put that behind it um, inside you can see whoops sorry flat back pearls around the inside I put a couple more doodad flowers with those um, little pieces that you get from the paper bag lady. Um, they're, you know, the tiny uh, little in-between pieces of the doilies. There's an acrylic butterfly. Um, most everything was from um, my little box over here, which I keep all my uh, little scraps in whether they're paper or um, trims or whatever but they usually go in there when they get to be like this size I used this ribbon to you know in case I want to hang it this is a gorgeous um, clay flower that I got last year at CKC I've been hoarding them because I don't know why, but I only got one package of each. I should have got more, and I'm hoping that company, um, it was a new company that was there at CKC in New Hampshire, and I'm hoping they're there this year when I go in May because I will definitely buy a bunch of those packages of clay flowers, but, I mean, they're really beautiful. And then just a little... Um, piece of crochet trim, um, a little heart flat back pearl, and I think that's it. I left. Um, I probably will cover the back just with something to, you know, finish it off. But for now, I just figured, well, even if I if I hang it up, nobody's gonna see the back of it. So, yeah, that's my little pocket watch. And then the other thing I've been working on um, is this here. And, um, oh, first of all, I have to say, hi, Dee Dee. <laughs> it's a private joke between um, Dee Dee and I. She always leaves me a comment about um, the rings I wear. <laughs> and this actually is one of the buttons that Artie, one little dreamer, sells in her shop and um I just adhered it onto a you know a um a ring shank you know just an inexpensive one but I <laughs> she knows I just love wearing huge huge rings and she always comments on them so so this is it Dee. Dee. <laughs> so anyways back to my project I don't even know what to call this, to be honest with you. I don't know what it is, and, and you'll see when I open it up to the inside. But um, I had this vintage 
um, this material here is actually from a vintage curtain and I loved it had the embroidered flower on it and I just loved the curtain um, this part of it the rest of it was sheer but there was a, a part there is a part that has um, some of this on it and some of it looks like it's um, you know painted and then there's little pieces of embroidery in between so anyways I cut the piece to fit the front of a book but this isn't a book because I don't have pages inside so that's why I don't know what to call it maybe you guys can help me and let me know what you think of uh, would be a, you know good to call it but anyways um, I took a piece of uh, two pieces of muslin you know square pieces and I put a little batting in the middle of it and I sewed you know, all along the four edges, and then I folded it in half, and I added the curtain to the front, and then this is the back here. So you can see it's a very sheer vintage curtain. And then down the spine, I added this really pretty trim from my stash. And of course, a project wouldn't be complete for me without my doodad flowers. And I put pearls um, along the um, edging to just to finish off where I put the um, laces around it and I put a couple of different laces I put this here let me see if it's hard to tell what you're looking looking at but I put this lace and then this tiny little lace on top of it and then I put the uh, pearls on top of that and I did this on the front and the back uh, cover and then I just added this lace to um, tie it together and I guess I should show you what I did to the front again I'm getting away from myself um, okay I added a couple of little um, appliques, flower appliques here and here with the doodad flowers and then this applique is actually from Emma. Hi Emma! M's um, Crafty Goody Emporium on Facebook and uh, tiny tiny little pearls in the center. Um, I added this uh, piece of cloth here and a little bling doodad and then um, this is uh, one of Artie's um, medium size uh, rosettes and I just kind of um, folded it in half to try to bring up the um, the butt of it and then this is just a little flower I made with part of the curtain I just um, you know gathered it um, with some thread and just you know kept gathering it and then I just twirled it or around and you know stuck it on a little circle of uh, chipboard I mean, uh, sorry, of um, cardstock. And then I did the same thing with this um, medium size rosette. Make it, try to make it look like a, uh, a rosebud. And then behind that is a doily. And let's see, did I put anything else behind there? Uh, no, I think it's just the doily. And then there's a pretty full per oh sorry <laughs> oh my gosh I may have to do this one over again I'll have to watch it first um, a beautiful pearl in the center and then these um, flower sprays I got um, in a swap from Rena hi Rena thank you for these I love them and I put those um, in front of one of Dee's hearts, hi Dee, um, in front of one of her heart appliques that I, I love also. So that's the um, the front and the back. Okay, now I'll show you inside. And this is why I don't know what to call it. Oops, wait a minute. Okay, so this is it. Let me see if I can show it to you. Okay, that's it there's no pages so um, I took this image 
and transferred it onto muslin and I just love that cute little image and I put a doily around it to frame her and then there's a doily behind it right here and then this is an applique I got um, I think I got it off of eBay um, it's a beautiful applique, little applique piece and then I just added a few little uh, doodad flowers a couple of white ribbon flowers with the bling in the middle and there's lace in, um, in front of the muslin I covered the muslin in lace um, and then I framed it with a couple of different trims there's this trim under there and then this trim down the bottom and then the side and the top are in um, this trim that oh gosh I've had this for like I think a year or so and I think I might have gotten it from um, lavish laces and then in the middle I um, put this trim here on either side of the middle and then I meant to put something up here to cover it, which I, so I still have to do that, but um, I just totally forgot about that. And then on this page, um, I have this fan applique, and it's gorgeous. And oh, I'm trying to think where I got that. Um, oh, I think I got it from Whimsical and... Devers, um, she has a little shop. I think that's where I got it from. And um, she tea dyed it. And I just love how it looks. So I put the fan, I put a different color. Um, well, yeah, it is a different color um, lace material um, for the background. And then on the three sides, I put this beautiful lace here. And I think I got that from Craft Supplies 1. I wish I could, um, you know, keep names of where I get everything, but I just have so much stuff, it's just impossible. I wouldn't even know how to store everything if I stored it by where I got it. So I hope nobody gets offended if I don't remember where I got it from. And I'm not just talking about stores. I'm talking about, you know, um, people... Uh, friends and subbies uh, that you know send stuff to me I try to remember but um, I just can't always remember so please please don't um, be offended if I if you see something on a project that you sent me and and I you know don't call your name out but I do try so back to this I put this lace on the bottom this little uh, flower trim here and then I put one of um, the the zipper pulls from um, Prima and it says precious and then to cover um, the stems because I made this flower um, bouquet and I had you know to keep it together I had to leave the stems so in order to cover the stems I added this flower and then this little piece of trim here and then this piece of trim here with the little acrylic heart um, just to cover that stem so you don't see it but um, yeah the uh, flowers are wild orchid crafts um, except for these the fabric flowers here are from um, Tresor Deluxe and then this little flower spray here um, that might be from Rena also I think but anyways um, yeah so this is the inside and this is the outside and if anybody has any suggestions to what I should call it please feel free to write in the comment um, because like I said because I I can't call I don't think I can call it a book because it doesn't have any pages in there but I do love how it came out 
and um, eventually I don't know who it's going to go to but it will it will go to somebody because I want it to have a home and I just don't have any more room in, in here so anyway so those are my two project shares um, I hope you like what I did and I will see you all again soon so thanks so much for watching bye